morning guys it is a fresh new week the weather is really moody today which is like really putting my motivation down you know what i mean like my energy my energy is not high this morning the weekend at my parents was so nice guys like i really needed that break we literally just watched like movie after movie that's kind of like our love language as a family and it's like this running competition between me and my dad and who can pick the best movies and I, I swear i always pick such good movies and he will be so intensely watching them and then the movie will finish he'll be like yeah that movie was shit and i'm like excuse me um, he could never just admit that i pick good movies and then he picks the worst movies literally the worst movies so to start off our week we are going to another event today and this event is in london as well this is a really special event because my friend is coming out with her own collection with this brand called glisten cosmetics by the way this is the rem beauty cooling blurring under eye balm i did already record this morning and i did the the crying girl makeup which I'm just like, I know it's so cringy, right? To like take part in these cringy trends because like what the hell is crying makeup? Oh, I have a call. Hello? That was actually a call for something that I will tell you guys about on Wednesday, which is also really exciting. We're just gonna have, you know what? We're gonna have a really exciting week, guys. I'm feeling good about this week. The thing about last week, guys, I actually didn't technically vlog my week. I just vlogged three days, which I had three days of events. But this week, we're gonna actually vlog the entire week. Hopefully, it will be like less stress, more like a mixture of events and like day-to-day -day life and my friends and stuff. What was I gonna do? I've completely forgot what I was gonna do. I'm just gonna use the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. What were we talking about before I got that call? I really can't remember. I guess we're just gonna have to move on. I'm not sure whether you guys want me to include like makeup content in my vlogs because I know like I'm a beauty person so like you literally watch me do makeup all the time. So do you want like when I do vlogs and stuff for it to just be like everything excluding makeup do you guys see how oily my face looks that's exactly what you want before your makeup i feel particularly ugly today do you guys ever wake up and just feel like ugly like i don't know how to say it but like you just don't like sometimes i wake up and i'm like wow like i'm so beautiful today and then sometimes i wake up and i'm like i feel so ugly today and i know i probably look the exact same as i look normally but i feel ugly i can't help it i don't know if it's because i'm breaking out like what is this about why am i breaking out what's going on in my life i am gonna set up my space i'm gonna get to recording and maybe i'll get some clips of my makeup for you guys <laughs> believe the call i have just had i just want to say yeah people in this industry run their mouths way too much they love the drama i could tell you guys the tea and i really do want to tell you the guys the tea but i'm not about the drama so i'm not going to but you just can't trust no one they will run with things oh my god it's actually insane it's actually insane anyway i need to finish my makeup video because i don't care about this drama okay let's just put that aside Makeup is all done. I'm feeling a lot cuter than I was this morning. Definitely. I'm really glad I went for this hair just because it was really easy to do. And I've also not done it in a while. And I feel like a little doll when I do the hair. So tonight I'm going to wear this blazer from Boohoo. It's just a black blazer. And then just this basic top underneath from Zara. And then the statement piece of the outfit is actually the skirt I got from Nadine Morabi. Basically the dress code of the event is Glisten. Makes sense. The brand is called Glisten Cosmetics. When I saw this skirt, I thought it would be perfect for the event. This is the skirt. I'm sorry, but is that not screaming Glisten? I know it seems like a lot, but I'm basically in all black except for this. So I feel like this is like the statement piece of the skirt. This is from their new drop. Okay, I'm just booking my Uber. I'm all ready to go. Surprisingly enough, guys, I actually didn't rush today. Like, it was pretty chill vibe. So, okay, Uber is booked. So, guys, it is exactly five past three. My train is at exactly 12 past, but boss man said he's gonna get me there on time. Somehow, I ended up being late because of the other, the other Uber driver was completing a trip nearby and then he just didn't move for like 10 minutes. I know I said I wasn't rushing this time, but turns out I'm rushing. So, guys, because he actually got me here.
guys i just got home my tights ripped again at the event <laughs> at this point am i capable of wearing tights that don't rip anyway i thought i would show you guys what i actually got in my goodie bag because i don't think i actually did that for the events brushes and look at the brushes guys do you see like that dot i thought that that was so that you could put like gems on your face but it's not it's so that you can do like dots on your eyes and I'm sorry, but that is game changing. We got their palettes. Let me show you guys. This one is Maze. <gasps> oh my God, guys. Look at that palette. This one is Wendy's. I'm scared of breaking my nails because this is how I break my nails 90% of the time is opening PR packages and like just palettes and stuff. Wait, what the hell? Has this been focused, guys? Okay, anyway. This is Wendy's, <gasps> just incredible women. I'm so proud of them and what they represent as, you know, women of color. And honestly, it was just incredible to be at an event. Such diversity in the room. And then we also got a cookie. Let's open her up and see what we got. <gasps> so cute. Guys, it's so funny. My Uber driver was telling me how like the name Helen came up on his Uber thing. And he was like, I was just imagining this like old white woman, like, you know, really cold in the rain. Like I need to, I should go pick her up. And he's like, and then I saw you and you were like, because that's literally how I always like try to get the Uber drivers to know that it's me. I'm like, he was like, when I saw you, I was like, what? This is not the girl I was expecting. But then I had to explain to him that my name's actually Helene and not Helen. I should really change that. But honestly, a part of me enjoys that like not going by healing sometimes. I know it's like, I'm sorry, I'm really not that famous to care like that. <laughs> oh my God, that's actually my government name. Should I be telling you guys my government name? Anyway, I really don't know how we got here, guys. I am going to take off my makeup and get cozy. I wish I didn't have to wake up early tomorrow, but I have a meeting at 9 a.m. <laughs> I couldn't fall asleep again Been overthinking all the little things I've said I'm sleep deprived almost every night Guys, how are we all doing? I am having a pretty soft morning I do love waking up and then immediately get into work And then you just like have this high energy that you're on the entire day Because you just start your day off working But when I'm really tired, I love soft morning Just wake up in my own time, have breakfast make a coffee and to be honest today is more of an admin day when i'm going to events and i'm doing content and stuff like that i don't really have time to like then edit the content like i have content that i need to send for approval with brands also i actually had a really interesting conversation with my manager this morning i personally myself have been wanting to switch up my instagram a little bit in the sense of like i just post honestly i just repost my tiktoks to my instagram look the issue at hand is if i post reels every day i grow if i post pictures and reels and this stuff i just i don't grow but i'm over it i'm completely over it i don't think that's a valid reason to just like spam repost all my posts so i really want to get into like i guess what like instagram used to be the aesthetics of instagram if you will like just do outfit pictures take selfies take shots of like products that i use that's what you just saw me do today so i'm getting into it those are blushes that i love so much and i'm currently using and i'm like why not put that on my feed and share it with you guys as you guys know i'm from a scientific background so why not talk about the science behind skincare because i only use skincare that i look at the science behind you know i've been doing this for almost two years now people know i can do makeup i can do all types of makeup you get it we, we get it i i can do makeup but i feel like it's like i don't know like a new era a new time to just like bring you guys in on me i guess that's why i'm vlogging because i'm just trying to be closer to you guys like show you what my life is like show you more of me i'm not just this person that is that just makes makeup videos i'll be honest like and there's nothing wrong with just making makeup videos there's there's nothing wrong with that. If you watch my vlogs, you know I'm a very opinionated person. I'm, I have a personality, essentially. Like That's not to say, oh my God, this is going terribly. That's not to say the people that don't want to do this don't have a personality. I don't know how to put this, guys. You get what I mean, okay? That's it, you get what I mean. Anyway, so I have been planning my feed and stuff. I actually downloaded Preview, it's called Preview. 
and I'm just so excited because all of these events I've been going to, I've been taking outfit pictures, I've been taking more selfies. All I'm gonna say is guys, watch the space and go and follow me on Instagram. I've actually had a really lovely morning and a really lovely time like vlogging and it's just felt really chill. It's like I think I could actually do weekly vlogs for you. And like I have a boohoo haul that might be coming up, but I think this is sustainable. My issue was that I wasn't really going to events. I wasn't really doing anything. So it's like, you guys don't wanna just see me go to the gym and get groceries and whatnot. I am contemplating guys, do I go to the gym? I'm gonna be so real, I've not been to the gym in a week and I really, it's so funny like, I've lost a lot of weight. I don't know if you guys could tell but I have. And when I see people they're like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, like I'm just going to the gym. Like I've been really working hard at the gym, really going consistently and it really helps me mentally. So it makes me sad that I haven't really had time to go to the gym but should I go? I'm just so tired, I'm like, I don't think this was meant to be this long, by the way. This was meant to be a, hi, good morning, that's it. But somehow I've explained my entire life to you guys. Hi friends, it is now a whole day later. You're never gonna guess what happened. You're just not gonna guess. So after I finished like recording that little clip, my camera was on a tripod and then it's fallen over. <laughs> and I just picked it up like, that's fine. Like it's, you know, happens all the time. And then um, I got ready for the gym, ready to get my little clips at the gym. I go to turn on my camera and it's not turning on. It's not turning on and now I'm freaking out and I'm like literally I'm saying like God, please let this just be like a lesson. Like let me just for a second think it's not gonna work and then it works and I'm like, you know what, you're right. I need to take better care of my camera. Even though I, you do take it. I do, I really do. It was a freak accident. Yeah and mom if you're watching this <laughs> I'm sorry. Mom, if you're watching this, okay, I do take good care of my things, okay, I really do. This one just happened to fall over this one time. Anyway, so now I'm distraught and I'm like, I have such exciting things happening this week. And I was meant to vlog them and I need to get my camera repaired now. And then guess what happens? My nose job kind of saved the day because I'm going to Turkey to get a nose job and I was like debating to get a camera and I was picking up my camera literally like 10 minutes after all the commotion happened and I didn't even tell her and I came upstairs and I was like, <laughs> I've saved the day. I know, she actually really did save and the I day. Really so did. basically we are vlogging with Ruji Bougie's camera. camera. Um, so she really did save the day because you know what, it's not that deep if I don't have a camera to work with for next week, whatever, but I just wanted to finish my weekly vlog because yeah. exciting things are happening. Not to say everything happens for a reason, but Lord, Everything I hope for a reason. I guess. I mean, I don't know what sure, the reason breaking yeah. was. <laughs> I don't know what the reason for that is. It happened at the right time. Like, yeah. So ridiculously at the right time. time. Like timing was insane. So basically, I'm gonna ship my camera to Sony for them to check it and see what's wrong with it. We're saying like realistically, it can't it's be just that had bad. A little yeah. Like, shimmy. Something's gone out of place or whatever because it's still intact it's completely fine like like i said i thought it was working just fine until i tried to turn it on we are heading over to selfridges are you excited i am gonna buy my first designer bag and i know you guys are probably like this is your first designer bag but like well and truly it really is because you guys have to understand i started this job two years ago and for one of those years i was a student <laughs> and I was paying my tuition and etc and my rent and whatever um, so this is like the first year that I'm like you know making money and I feel like I should treat myself to something nice We are done with our shopping and we're gonna go get some food now at Zooks. 
it's this nice like it's Indian right? Is it yeah, Indian? It's Indian cuisine. Um, it's so pretty in there. The food is gorgeous. And they have a new Christmas, Christmas like yeah. menu. Although I'm not sure what is Christmas about Indian food, right? <laughs> My hair, like, I hate that when I have these little two bits out. They go flying. They go flying, so I'm just like, I look so stupid. been such a lovely night the food at zooks was just so good oh my god and the cutest thing ever happened towards the end this little kid comes over and he starts speaking to us and then his mum grabs him and he's ushered away then he comes back with like a little piece of paper and coloring pencils and i mean obviously i had to start coloring in with him so we're just like coloring in with him and he's so hilarious and he's so cute just like randomly like start aggressively screaming like <gasps> and then he ended up being kurdish can you believe it like he was like this little kurdish kid we were like did he gravitate towards the curve and the restaurant started playing kurdish music it was just such a vibe tomorrow kind of links in today actually i am going to a ysl event tomorrow which is just so crazy and surreal for me guys because did i ever think that i would be doing something like that no i guess it does kind of tie into why i did buy that bag today not because i'm going to this ysl event but just because like these events are happening in my life and i'm just like i don't know like things are just shifting for me i just feel like i should be rewarding myself because honestly guys like i really do work hard. like people in this industry that i really really respect when i see them at events are just like your work ethic it's so weird because in a way it feels like the work that i do is like the minimum and i'm always like i should do even more but to get that validation from other people to be like you work really hard i'm just like you know what i really do work hard i really do deserve to treat myself anyway i'm so excited for this event tomorrow i'm really excited to meet the ysl team guess where it is in london of course the only thing is like obviously it's a lunch so i'm going to have to be on the train for 10 a.m again oh they're just the worst ones ever guys i'm gonna have to have a really early start i am planning on curling my hair i promise i'm actually gonna do it this time like i say this every time but i'm I'm going to dedicate the time to make sure it happens. I'm actually really upset guys because the dress that I got, I ordered it a while ago and when I tried it on, it was just a bit too big. So I ordered it again in a size smaller and they sent me it in a size bigger. It's not that big where I can't like make it work, but literally me and Rouge, we had to try and like pin it in certain places to make it look right. And we're like pinning it this way, pinning it that way. I'm gonna do a little bit of gradual tanning tonight, I think. Like not a proper fake tan thing because let's just be honest it's just long i got this at the look fantastic event in the little goodie bag that they gave me it's the bali body gradual face tan hydrating cream so i'm really excited to actually use this i need to record in the morning i have an ad that i need to record and then oh guys actually oh my god i got such an exciting email today i really hope it happens and once it happens and if it does happen no once it happens i just can't wait to tell you guys about it i need to go get some sleep to be bro what to be bright up and early that's not right <laughs> to be up bright and early good night guys <laughs> what's wrong with me today good morning beautiful people it is so early it's literally 8 a.m and my hair is fully curled Cur curled it's curled <laughs> it's gonna be a long day i literally had five hours of sleep and it was so easy for me to wake up because i think i never truly slept like I think I was in and out of sleep all night because I knew I had to wake up so early. But honestly, I feel amazing. I feel great. <laughs> Let me show you the dress. How beautiful is she? This is also from Nadine Murabi. It's called the Olivia Black Dress. It's giving Christmas, it's giving YSL. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, guys. It's too big for me, just a little bit too big, which is really annoying. Hi guys, as always, I am in a rush. My train is very, very soon, but my makeup came out so good. Like I'm actually really obsessed with it. I thought that like for a moment it was going wrong, Hey, with 
my manager Annie. How beautiful is she, guys? I'll pay you later. <laughs> Only talking about what we're gonna wear for the Christmas party. Yeah, this is um, this is my vibe. Oh, that's nice. It's because the dress code is what would Rihanna wear, so she's made it really difficult. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't know if I could wear what Rihanna wears. You totally can. <laughs> So if you love me then tell me how much long do I have to wait I'm not getting any stronger I'm losing my faith and I could be Hi guys, I have since returned to my humble abode. I have showered, I have taken my makeup off, I have done my skincare routine and I may look a little shiny, I'm not sure if it's coming across. I'm trying out this new skincare because this brand wants to work with me and I'm so excited because they're really well known for um, helping with like, do you ever get like bumps on your forehead or like around here that are like, they're not red, they're like under the skin bumps, but sometimes they can turn into to active acne so if you don't know about slugging slugging is this method where you put like this thick moisturizer or like just this barrier this product on your skin and it's meant to like lock in all of your skincare and make sure like it doesn't come off and i've never found like a good product to slug <laughs> i don't know if that's the right terminology this girl posted a video using this brand that i'm using she swears by it for slugging got in my cozy little pinocchio <laughs> PJs. Oh my god guys, when I came home, my room, I don't want to talk about the state of my room. Anyway, let's talk about what YSL gave me. They gave me a bag full of makeup, so let's see what we've got here. So we got lots of cheek tints and lip tints. Got some lipsticks, like some actual lipstick. They're Velvet Crush eyeshadow, but I wonder what shade this is. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, she's a shimmer. Got a mascara. Oh my god, look what they've given me. Perfume. It smells very similar to the one I have, but different. <laughs> I would be the worst perfume review. Look at what they gave me, guys. In this bag is... Oh my god! What is actually going on, guys? Okay. Some of you may know what this is. This is that machine where you can, like... You link it to an app, I think. Wait, okay, I actually don't know exactly how it works, but you link it to something. Whatever you take a picture of, this will create a lipstick in that exact shade. Like, if I just took a picture of the wall, it would create a lipstick that shade. If I took a picture of my blush that I was using that, it would create a lipstick that shade. And the pigment will go in here and you can carry it with you all day and just like reapply it. So it's a really fun way of just creating your own lipsticks. I mean, how cool is that, guys? Sunday mornings hide it's actually Sunday now the last time I spoke to you guys was on Friday I think I just kind of like took a little break because I had a lot of things to do it's so funny because I was like you know what these can be my days off and then I wrote like a list of things I needed to do and then before you know it this list was like 14 things long I guess today's kind of a break i don't know what is classed as a break in my line of work anymore you guys saw i went to the gym earlier i did some pilates it's so different to weightlifting for me because when i'm weightlifting i'm like you know in my bad b kind of vibe some like heavy metal music playing i don't know just whatever gives me the energy to lift those weights but when i'm doing pilates it's just like all zen so i've showered and i'm about to record an ad that i have to do and a tiktok and then we are gonna head to a cafe and just edit this vlog this current vlog because i think this is my last day of vlogging for this week so yeah this is what i mean by i'm not sure what is classed as a break in my line of work because i am technically still working the makeup is all finished i'm so obsessed with how my makeup came out today guys i didn't intend for it to look this good do you know what i mean you know when you're okay with just having an okay makeup day but the ad that i recorded was for the maybelline four in one glow perfecta and i mean my base looks insane i haven't used any foundation guys and this is what i used as my bronzer as well and i just I can't, like, I will be wearing this every day. And furthermore, the TikTok challenge that I did was to do a full face of makeup under £50. So my entire makeup is drugstore products. Just goes to show, guys, you don't have to spend money to look good. That's the moral of the story here. Mm -hmm. Walking to the market, strolling hand in hand, exchanging letters. 